I was getting ready to begin my junior year of basketball and we were in preseason. All of a sudden, just out of the blue, so randomly, my calves one day just were extremely tight. And so I tried just the typical like eye stretch, maybe put some BioFreeze on, and then I just continued to have that tight calf pain um, for days and days and eventually that turned into weeks and nothing really took it away. It, just continued to worsen and it was very uncomfortable. Um, then as games neared and season was underway, my legs were still not getting better. In fact, they were worse. Eventually, we were like our third game into the season and I remember calling for a sub less than a minute into the game because my calves were already just excruciating pain and I could barely stand up straight. It just hurt so bad. It was one of my most painful games ever played with that um, calf condition. And then thankfully my aunt referred me to a chiropractor um, in Lincoln, which is about an hour from my house. And uh, that chiropractor treated me for mineral deficiencies and he helped to get my glutes to fire in order so my calves wouldn't be so overloaded. Towards the end of my junior year, um, I think it was our last regular season game, um, a mom of an old AU teammate of mine uh, came up to my mom and wanted to get her in contact with another mom from their home, their town. And so my mom actually didn't tell me that she had gotten contact um, with this other lady until um, about a week later when our season was done. And then another week went on and I was diagnosed with compartment syndrome. Compartment syndrome um, comes from the compartment that the muscles are in. They're like a fibrous compartment. And for various reasons, the inside of the compartment gets bigger than the fibrous sheath and it cuts off the blood supply. So it causes um, pain out of proportion to injury, numbness, tingling, weakness, um, and eventually when it's kind of late, like lack of pulses. Uh, doing some rehab and adjusting things doesn't work, then you end up with surgery. Um, it's a pretty extensive surgery, so you definitely want to basically rule out any other thing that could be causing the issue before you go to surgery due to the recovery time. So the surgery is um, a fasciotomy where you make incisions in the fascia that creates the compartment, and those incisions um, can be um, pretty significant and then you actually leave the fascia open to, so you don't have that pressure again. And so there's the recovery from the surgery, um, which might be six or eight weeks, and then there's the recovery following that where you get back to activity, which can be another set of weeks, and so it might be um, months to get back. I had surgery on March 23rd, and I was in a wheelchair for two weeks, so that was definitely a different perspective and just made me really appreciate being able to walk and then after those um, two weeks in a wheelchair I wasn't on crutches and so that was really weird too. I'd never been on crutches and it just I felt so, it was just different. I totally took for granted just the ability to be able to walk around school or just go through daily life walking normal and so um, definitely took that for granted and it opened my eyes a lot. Obviously I wasn't able to shoot and so I actually have um, a tall chair at home and I just set it out um, by my basketball hoop and my parents would rebound for me. In May I was able to get back into some shooting drills and stuff with my team at um, AU but still just getting back into that there was some doubt in my mind like oh my gosh I'm sore this hurts like did my surgery work you know I had to remind myself with such a major surgery, it's not gonna be back to normal. Like My calves were cut open, you know, or my legs were cut open. This is gonna take time. To this day, I still don't, I'm not 100%, and I don't think I ever will be, because I still have just soreness and stuff that I manage daily, um, spend hours a day just still taking care of them. I look back and I don't know how I did it for a whole season, but I'm grateful that made it through so I was recruited by Coach Etheridge, Coach Lori, and um, Coach Shep at Northern Colorado. Um, those are the three coaches that are here at Washington State now from Northern Colorado. Just absolutely fell in love with their program, their vision, what they stand for, who they are as people, like, and obviously just they know basketball so well, and I totally just wanted to be a part of that. and so got signed with them to be at Northern Colorado and in 
I uh, was so excited to be a part of just something that seemed so special and neat. And then in April, um, found out they were coming out here to Washington State. Once I got released, um, got a call and said, hey, we have a spot in scholarship if you want to come. And so I was like, sign me up. I want to come. It was just so incredible to be able to be out here with those three coaches. I'm so grateful for their belief in me and just their support and encouragement um, during some of my toughest times. Like during my surgery and recovery, they believed in me, you know, when other schools doubted me and gave up. And so uh, that was just really neat. And I'm so grateful for them. And they've just really done a lot for me and I'm just so thankful to be here with them and I have so much to give back to them and so I'm just really looking forward to these next four years here with them. My name is Michaela Jones. I'm a freshman from Wymore, Nebraska.